Halloween anchor Justin Choi this is the Leon with your morning news live broadcast today is Wednesday October 29th day 3 please stand for prayer in the name of the Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Sorry for the technical difficulty, guys. We're back. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Attention middle school and elementary students. Come to the Zombie Apocalypse Haunted House, sponsored by the Triumph Society, and the Elementary Student Council. Prepare to be spooked and haunted on Friday, October 31st from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in Ms. Tabali's band room. Donate uh, canned goods for admission and help Aloha Harvest feed the hungry. Your teacher must schedule a visit for your class either by contacting Ms. Tabali or Ms. Brown. Make it orange, make it end on Unity Day, Post-it Day. What are your true colors when it comes to bullying? On Wednesday, November 5th, plan to, plan to make it orange and make it end if you, are care, if you care about safe and supportive schools and communities. Wear orange on Unity Day. That's the day everyone comes together in school communities and online uh, to send a large orange message of support, hope, and unity. Students are allowed to wear an orange outfit on this day. If, do not, uh, if they do not have an orange outfit, they are to be in their school uniform. The outfit has to be predominantly orange, not just a t-shirt with a speck of orange on it. Attention all high school students. There will be a hiking club meeting tomorrow morning in Mr. Rockholm's room. We will be planning our first couple of hikes. Come if you are interested in hiking, but are too busy for these first couple of hikes. At least your name will be on the list. Tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. in Mr. Rockholm's room. Attention all Spanish Honor Society members. There will be a mandatory meeting for members tomorrow at 7.30, 7.30 a.m. in room 226 on Thursday, October 30th. We will also be taking our yearbook pictures, so do not be late. Hasta la vista! Aloha Show DVDs are mailing out this week. We are still taking orders. Order forms are available on Edline, or you can come purchase one in room 204. Attention all National Honor Society, National Junior Honor Society, and admission recruiters, and volunteers for open house. There will be a mandatory meeting tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. in the admissions office, room 102, regarding details of open house. Attention all students, if you are still interested in becoming part of the school play Annie Junior, auditions will be held on November 4th at 4 p.m. in the band room. Please sign up with Ms. Tabali or Mr. Ragus. Just a reminder, our school is currently conducting a donation drive to help serve our homeless vets out at Barber's Point at Ka Kaleloa. Please bring these items to your homeroom no later than tomorrow. Attention all Art Honor Society members. 
Yearbook photos will be taken after school on day one, Tuesday, November 4th at 3.30 p.m. Attention all junior and senior Tri-M members. Yearbook photos will be al also be taken after school on day one, Tuesday, November 4th at 3.45 on the upper yard. Attention all Air Riflery members. They will be taking their yearbook photos tomorrow after school at 3.30 p.m. at the upper courtyard. CSL boys and girls basketball grades 4th through 8th sign, uh, sign up through October 31st. The sign up sheet will be located on Mrs. Vito's office door. Please sign up if you're interested in playing basketball this season. Junior Alexis Deocampo Ranguin, Ragwidden and freshman Justin Berry qualified for the state meet and will be running this Saturday at 8.30 a.m. at Central Oahu Regional Park in YPO. Go out and support our Saints. Congratulations to Isabel Villanueva as she took first place and Tony Silva as she took second place in the HHSAA Air Rifle Individual State Tournament yesterday at the Neil Bl Blasdell Exib Exhibition Hall. Congratulations to both ladies. Seniors, Mr. Scudder will be out of the office tomorrow, Thursday. Please make sure to see him either this afternoon or Friday if there are things you need to complete your applications to colleges and universities. Make sure to check in with your teachers who are writing you a letter of recommendation. There are some great colleges coming for visits next week. Be sure to sign up for the presentations by the University of Alabama, Pacific University, and Lehigh University. And finally, did you know that Halloween is also linked to the Catholic Church's celebration of All Saints Day? When the church began sending out missionaries to the Celtic region, it adopted many traditional rituals and sanctioned them as Catholic activities. In the seventh century, for example, the church's celebration of All Saints Day was moved to coincide with a special mass called All Hallows Mass. That actually is the name, which, re recited, which was recited during All Saints Day to honor any saints who, who did not already have a day of their own. The night before October 31st quickly became to be known as All Hallows Eve. And that's our morning news. I'm your anchor, Justin Choi. And I'm your co-anchor, Clarissa De Leon. With your morning news live broadcast. Have a great day and a great week in a spirit of joy.